Yo, what's up guys? My name is Randolph. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be opening this massive ugh, 150 pound vintage Pokemon mystery box. Let's go. But before we do get into that big mystery box, I also have a smaller mystery box right here as well. Both were sent to me by the same person. This is a member here on the channel called Kalshar. Big shout out to you, man. I really appreciate it. He sent me the smaller package a couple of weeks ago and he sent me the big box around a week ago. It just took a while to arrive. And the way he actually sent it to me is via my brand new P.O. Box. So yes, this video is also kind of an announcement video for my brand new P.O. Box. I'll leave the address on the screen right now and it'll also be in the description. So if you guys out there want to send me anything Thin from you know cards booster packs to open on camera feel free to do so however don't send me cards that you just want me to sign and send back because i won't be doing that using this p.o box this p.o box is strictly going to be just for things for me to open on camera and for me to show you guys in videos so as a disclaimer anything you guys send me I will keep for the videos, okay? So I won't be sending it back. So the PO box address will be in the description along with Kyle Shah's Instagram page. Make sure you guys go and give this guy a follow. He's super into uh, graded cards, vintage Pokemon cards. He's got some great collections, English and Japanese. So definitely go and check him out. But for now, let's get into this package here that says open on video. Um, I'm not sure entirely what this one has in it. Uh, and did I not open it right? I didn't. Okay, there we go. Boom, open on video. Okay, I'm gonna... I don't want to look what's in it real quick. I'm going to hide that. I'm going to read the letter first. To Randolph, hope this arrives safe and sound. There's a few goodies for you to open on video. Really loving all the content and congrats on hitting 100,000 subscribers on the channel. It's an awesome achievement. Thanks, Kalshar Pokey Cal on IG, Instagram. Kalshar, thank you so much once again. I really appreciate this. Um, thank you so much. And I'm really excited to see what we have in here. And uh, let's go. Woo, okay. So let's take these out. Damn, okay. Yo, we got some promo cards. And for those of you who don't know, I really love collecting promo cards. I'm actually making a thing for Sword and Shield to collect every single promo card that exists in the Sword and Shield, you know, era. And yo, what's this? Hold on, hold on. Yo, let's go. We got a PSA 10 Magnemite. Let's go. So this is the shiny Magnemite from uh, Hidden Fates, but... For those who don't know, Ultra Shiny GX is the Japanese set that mirrors Hidden Fates. Ultra Shiny GX came out before Hidden Fates did, and it completely shook up the Pokemon world. I know in Japan there was just queues on queues. I think there was a shortage of these things. They had to limit the boxes to one per customer. It was absolutely insane. And Ultra Shiny GX is actually another high class set like the Tag All Stars. This is awesome, man. Thank you so much for this, Kalshar. Much appreciated. This is going to be one of my uh, most prized possessions for sure. That's super kind, man. Thank you so much. Like, I love cards like this that have, like, a sentimental value. And obviously, because of Magnemite, the meme on the channel, um, <laughs> yo, this is awesome, man. This is definitely going to be one of my most prized possessions. So, Kalshar, thank you so much, bro. Oh, man, I love this. We have this next little packet here with a Peaky Peck on the front. And I'm assuming this is pro these, are, these are promo cards. What the hell? This is so kind, man. What the hell? Okay, so we have a... Let's go through these together. We have a Peaky Peck, Sun and Moon promo, a Hollow Haxorus... A holo alone in Meowth. Oh, I love that. Another promo card. Hooper. Damn, that's a sick holo. Chandelure holo. Raikou holo. Love that. A Reshiram. Oh, that is a nice card. I didn't open this set, I don't think. Is that Shining Legends? What is this? We have some Japanese holos here. Ooh. Hey, right, let's go. Copperaja. Steelix. Man, Japanese holos are so nice, man. Look at this. Got a Lunatone right there. We have the another one. Let's check these out. There we go. We have Blaze Fall on here. We have a uh, Dust Noir, Source Book, Kyogre. Love that. Oh, this is from um, Remix Bout, right? Yeah, this is Remix Bout. I need some of these cards. We have the Bike, Dust Noir again, Guzzlord, Blaze Fall on, Porygon Z. Now, this is from Tag All Stars, okay? Yeah, this is from Tag All Stars. You can see down there SM12A, Giratina. Fighting Energy and a Reverse Hollow Poke Gear 3.0. So very nice. Thank you, Kalshar. Okay, we have some more. Looks like some more Japanese Hollows in here. We have uh, Magneton or Magneton Excadrill. That is an awesome Hollow. Love that. We have a Welder. I'm not sure. No, I'm, not, I'm actually not sure what this card is. Uh, Galade, Magneton, <laughs> Magneton, Wishy Washy, Stoutland. Love that. Rosa, Steelix. Steelix again, and then we have another extra jewel at the back. Yo, I love the Japanese holo cards, man. They are definitely better than the English holos. Don't at me. And then we have looks like we have a booster pack of Sword and Shield. 
Let's go. Awesome. Awesome. Let's open that in a second, guys. And we also have here a staff card. And you guys know how much I love staff cards. We also then have some... Whoa. Let's go. We have some fossil Japanese cards. Let me open this first. Yo, we got the uh, Southern Island set as well. Yo, Kalshaw, you're doing a madness here, bro. All right. So we got the uh, Lady Bear from uh, Southern Islands. We have a Zoroark GX on the back. Very nice. We have a Registeel from the Pokemon League. Awesome. Love that. With a Tor Torterra as well. Turtwig sucks. <laughs> I'm kidding. Dust Noir. Hollow. Regirock. Another Pokemon League promo. Love that. Another Pokemon League promo with the Guzzlord. Hollow. Amazing. We have a Togepi, Cleffa, and Igglybuff. Love this card. We then have on the back a Necrozma GX. Love that. Then we have a Buzzwall, another Pokemon League promo card, and a Fossil Kabuto, Kabutops, sorry, Kabutops, my bad. Um, yo, look at that, man. Let me focus this up real quick. Yo, look at that, man. Japanese Fossil, Kensugamori. Look how clean this is, man. I actually don't collect Japanese, you know, old, old, you know, vintage cards. I need to do that more often, actually. Yeah, I love this card. Look at that hollow pattern, man. Damn. And then we have the Altaria staff here. Looks like there's two cards as well. Is it two staff cards? Yo, let's go. We got two staff cards. We have the Altaria staff card and the Porygon Z Plasma Blast, black and white. Yo, let's go. Hold on, let me get these out of the sleeve. Let me re-sleeve these up real quick so you guys can see them in all of their glory. I love staff cards, man. I really do. I think they're so unique. Okay, so there we go. We have the Altaria from Roaring Skies Ultra Trait card with the staff imprint right there. And we also have the Porygon Z, which has an awesome hollow pattern. And I love the blue border. Uh, from Black and White Plasma Blast with also the staff imprint there as well. So yo, Cal Shaw, my guy, you've done an absolute madness with this one. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And also, hold on, we have the Sword and Shield pack. My bad, my bad. Let me get into this real quick. Let's go. All right, if we pull a Goalization right now. Yo. <laughs> we could do it, man. We could technically do it. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go. There's a code card for you guys. You guys can thank Cal Shaw for that one. We're going to do one, two, three, four. Add a clear of Thumb War. I'm going to guess Water Energy. You guys place your guesses now. Darkness energy. Okay, okay. We have a Corvus Squire, a Great Ball, a Potion, Grookey, Sobble, Rhyhorn, Roselia, Ferris Seed, Reverse Hollow Grookey, and we have uh, a regular rare Thievul. But that's okay. Thank you so much again, Kyle Shaw, for this box. I really appreciate it. Um, a lot of these cards here are going to go into my collection uh, and they're going to be cherished for many years, especially. The Magnemite PSA 10 card. I mean, look at this, guys. This is absolutely insane. What a gift from Kalshaw. Thank you so much, bro. However, it is now time for the mystery box. I mean, look at this thing, man. So the first box was Kalshaw's gift to me. That was just a gift through the uh, through the PO box. However, he did then hit me up and ask me whether I wanted a mystery box for the channel. And this is something that I definitely do want. Number one, for my personal enjoyment, but also for content for you guys. So we're going to open this right now. Uh, and yo, Kyle Shaw, thank you so much for this, bro. Like I said before, guys, make sure you guys do go and check out Kyle Shaw on Instagram, Pokey Cal, link in the description. And I think there's a box inside this box so that I can open it on camera properly without spoiling it for me. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Here is the mystery box. Look at this, man. Yo, look at this, bro. Look at that Pokey Rand mystery box. Got my logo on it and everything. Make sure you guys go and check out PokeyRand.net. Maybe we'll offer some mystery boxes soon as well on the website. Let me know if you guys want to see that. And yo, look at the quality of this box, man. Look at the work that's going into it. He's painted this, man, on a sticker, bro. Kyle Shaw, you're the man, bro. Big shout out to you. Mystery box right here. Yo, I can't wait for this. Look at this, man. Oh, hold on. This is a thumbnail right here. Hold on, hold on. Whoa. <laughs> thumbnail face. All right, guys, let's get into this on the top down camera. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. Okay, we have to zoom out a lot. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go. Let's take off the elastic and let's see what this bad boy has inside. Damn, look at that. Randolph, yo. Another letter, let's check this out. Here we go. To Randolph, the time has come to open this insane mystery box if I don't say so myself. I wanted to thank Graded Gem for helping with one or two of the items in here. Hey, shout out Graded Gem. Much love to those guys. GradedGem.com, check the link out in the description. That is awesome. I have included a Who's That Pokemon challenge on each of the packages inside. I really hope you enjoy everything. Keep making sick content. All your fans are very grateful. Also, thanks to Laura for all the hard work she puts in behind the scenes. Thanks again, Callum, Kalshaw on Discord, PokeCal on Instagram, P.S. Rest in peace, Fairy Energy. Yes, rest in peace, Fairy Energy. However, Fairy Energy hoodie is coming out very soon, which will immortalize the Fairy Energy forever. Okay, so shout out Greater Gem, shout out Laura, shout out Kalshaw, 
Yo, this is sick. What the hell, man? Yo, the effort he's put in here, the work. Oh, this is mad. Kyle Shaw, thank you so much. Okay. Okay. How should I do this? I guess I'll just go through it, okay? Who's that Pokemon? Guys, who is this Pokemon? This is Quagsire, of course. Let's go. Yo, each package has got a... What do you call it, guys? Bubble wrap. There we go. A bubble envelope for each, each product. Yo, there we go. We got a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows booster pack. That's sick. Um, we also have a... Oh, there we go. We have an answer as well. Who's that Pokemon? The answer is Quagsire. So, make sure you guys guess along with me. Obviously, I'm pretty sick. I'm the GOAT at Pokemon. I know every single thing about every single Pokemon ever existed. That's not true, but I like to think it is. Um, so yeah, there we go. The answer is Quagsire for that one. Let me know if you guys got that correct. So any booster pack that I get, I'll kind of open after I've gone through the entire box, if that makes sense. So there we go. Sun and Moon Burning Shadows booster pack. Next up, we have... Who's that Pokemon? This is obviously a Garchomp. Shout out to everyone who got that correct. Yo, Kalshar, you're an absolute legend, bro. Okay, let's see what we got inside this one. We have a... Yo, we have a Sun and Moon Blister Pack um, with a promo Picky Pack, which I also got actually in your previous uh, promo gift box, which is awesome. And for those who need to know the answer, we have the answer, Garchomp. And yes, obviously I was correct again. Two points to Randolph. I am the GOAT. <laughs> okay, next up, let's open this one right here. Who's that Pokemon? This is an Aerodactyl. Of course. Let's see what's in package number two. Oh, this is so cool, man. Mystery Box. Is, I've never done this before. I've never had a Mystery Box. This is super fun. And we have a... Yo, we have a... First of all, the answer is Aerodactyl. Congratulations to anyone who got that right at home, including me. That's three points now. You guys suck. I am the best. But we have a Unified Minds uh, Blister Pack right here with the Sudowoodo Promo and potentially a Rainbow Rare Mewtwo and Mew in that one. So that's awesome to see. Okay, let's go for this one next. Who's that Pokemon? That is an Absol. Of course. Let's see what's behind door number four. Ooh, this time we have... First of all, the answer is Absol, of course. We have an XY booster pack right here. This is Furious Fists, so uh, this will be great to open as well. Holucha right there. So at the end of this video, guys, we're going to have a really insane um, pack opening on this uh, video. A really with a lot of variety for sure. Uh, next up, now this one is not actually... That is not Kamoa, right? That's that's Hakamoa. That's, that's, the, that's the middle evolution form. I see Kalshar trying to trick us there, but that is Hakamoa. Um, let's see if I got that right. Hopefully you guys got that right too. And inside here we have... Oh... We have, ooh, let's go. We have, first of all, there we go. Hakamoro, confirmation of that correct answer. Randolph is four for four now. I am the best. We have a Stuffle from Toys R Us, which obviously, you know, is a really good promo because Toys R Us don't exist anymore, at least in the UK. So we have a Toys R Us promo. We have a staff, Trevenant. Let's go. Another staff card. You guys know how much I love staff cards. Let's go. Um, Trevenant there from Breakpoint. Then we have another staff card this one is from the yo look at this this one deserves a zoom look at this tropius staff print but from the pokemon trading card game championships the national championships that's the international championships i'm not sure exactly which one this was from but that is sick man that is awesome thank you so much Kyle Shaw, for that that's amazing so we've got, we got two staff cards and we got a stuffle promo which we love to see right there that is awesome next up we have yo there's so many things to open in this box man what the hell Yo, who's that Pokemon? This is a Metagross. Randy is correct again. And in here we have... Ooh, what's behind the cardboard? Okay, hold on, hold on. We have... Ooh, first of all, the answer is, of course, Metagross. But we have... <gasps> Yo! We have... The Legendary Birds promo cards. Let's go! Yo, is it, there's all three in here, right? Yes, for those who don't know what these are, you got these and you went to the movie, I believe, when you went to see the Pokemon movie. So look at the three clues on the other side and fill in the crossword puzzle. Okay, we're not gonna do that, of course, but these are the... Do I open these? Okay, I'm gonna open them, guys. I'm gonna open them, I'm gonna open them. A lot of people don't like to do this. A lot of, a lot of people like to keep them in the uh, in actual sleeve here, but I wanna show you guys what you get in this, you know? Okay, so we carefully cut the top. There we go. Very careful right now. Boom, there we go. We have a Zapdos Black Star promo. Let me zoom in a little bit more. You guys can see that. Zapdos, Black Star promo, number 23. This is an awesome card right here. Sorry, Kyle Shaw, if you didn't want me to take it out of the uh, the seal, but I want to show the viewers at home what this is. And um, wow, that is in pristine condition. So that could probably be a PSA 10, you know? Oh, hey, we could submit that to Graded Gem and come back with a PSA 10. Very nice. But that's the Zapdos. And let's check, um, let's check out what the second one contains. Let's cut this as well. Moltres, let's go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's leave that one up immediately as well. There we go. We have a Moltres. 
right there. Let's check out the back on that one. And once again, that is, okay, this one is not great in the corner down here, but the Zapdos is actually in pristine condition. So there we go. Also, I do believe this whole, this artwork is like a, it's actually well, an artwork on its own. So yeah, I'm pretty sure all these three cards with Articuno go together. Not necessarily in their actual artwork, but the whole canvas in total, if that makes sense. So there we go. Two Black Star promos from Wizard of the Coast. Moltres and Zapdos. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Kyle Shaw, for that. Next up, we have a Kadabra on the front. Well, at least I think it's a Kadabra. But is that correct? Let's find out. Let's see. Okay, that's everything. The answer is, of course, Kadabra. Let's go. Yo, we have a Shining Rayquaza. What the hell? Let's go. Shining Rayquaza in great nick, it looks like. Very nice. And then we have some Fairy Energy Reverse Hollows. Yo, these will go down in history. We definitely have to get some of these graded. We have a bunch of different ones right here. Um, well, actually, they're, they're the same, but we have a bunch of different uh, Reverse Hollows. That is sick. That's a great touch, Kyle Shaw. Thank you so much. And obviously, uh, Shining Rayquaza being a dragon, all these Fairy Energy cards here will destroy Rayquaza. So yeah, take that, bro. But no, this is awesome. Shining Rayquaza. What a Pokemon card, what a Pokemon in general, but the shiny form and this card in particular is absolutely incredible. So yo, Kalshar, thank you so much for that. This is awesome, man. What a great mystery box. <laughs> yo, I'm having so much fun. Okay, next up, let's go with the Bayleaf one. This feels quite heavy. This is a different shape than usual. So let's see what's inside here. Uh, and yeah, who's that Pokemon? I spoiled it. It is a, is a Bayleaf. Okay, and inside here we have a, ooh, Dragon Shield, Sky Blue, uh, Matte Sleeves. These are some sleeves that you can protect your cards in. Let's open this, actually. Let's check these out. I actually do have um, the possibility to get these in my store if anyone wants me to get these. I've got some Ultra Pro sleeves coming for the store, Pokeran.net, but I can get some Dragon Shield ones as well. So if you guys like these, let me know, and I definitely can uh, you know, get these up. So these are just extra sleeves. These are especially good for um, putting into binders, but also for using in your decks. So that's very awesome. Thank you very much, Kyle Shaw, for that one. And maybe that's a sign to come. Maybe there are some cards in here that we need to sleeve up with those sleeves. So next up, we have a War Turtle package. We have... Ooh, we have a PSA card. Who is that Pokemon? The answer is War Turtle. And the card is a... Yo! We got a Pinsir PSA 10 holo card from EX Dragon Frontiers. Yo, look at that, man. This is a fighting type Delta species. For those who don't know, Delta species is a kind of like a series or a range of cards that are different from their usual typing. So obviously Pinsir is a bug type Pokemon, not a fighting type. But right here, this is a fighting type. And this is a Gem Mint 10. Let's go. Look at that, man. Perfect on the back. This is what I mean. Look, you can see a few nicks in the corner there and uh, also down here. So... PSA are definitely getting more strict because I sent some cards in like that recently and they came back as nines. But yo, there we go. Pinsir. Gem Mint 10 from the Delta Species. Look at that. Absolutely awesome card. He himself is shining as well, which is really great to see. Um, yeah, what an absolutely great card. Definitely going to go into my PSA collections. So, Kyle Shaw, thank you so much for that one. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Let's put that in the pile down here. Let's zoom out and let's continue with the mystery box. Yo, what is this one, man? What is that one? That's a Latte. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm going to get caught out on that one. I don't, I don't think I know the difference. That is a Latte. That's Latte Ass. No, that's Latios. That's Latios. I know that. I know that. I think. Yo, this one's super heavy, man. What the hell's in here? That is a Skarmory on the front, though. So, you know. Should I be actually answering these or should I be asking you guys to answer them? I, th I think I'm okay to answer them, right? Okay, in here we have a bunch of cards. Raw, let's go. Answer, Skarmory. There we go. And we have Unified Minds, full uncommon set. Yo, let's go. There we oh, sorry. I ripped the text off. There we go. We have the full uncommon set of uh, Unified Minds with uh, Arkan and the Karate Belt. I'll open these like off camera. There's no need to go through the entirety of these, but I do appreciate that. I do actually, I'm still working on my Unified Minds binder set. So this is actually going to come uh, in handy. Thank you so much for that, Kyle Shaw. Much appreciated. Next up, let's go with the Caterpie. Imagine if I got Caterpie wrong. There we go. Who's the Pokemon? The answer is Caterpie. Perfect. And we have a... Ooh, a black and white Plasma Blast booster pack. This is the oldest booster pack we've got so far in this opening, which is awesome. So I can't wait to see what is inside of that. Obviously, as I said before, the pack opening for all of these packs will happen at the end of the video. Once I've gone through the rest of this, uh, this stuff, which is <laughs> and with the look of this, there's still quite a way to go. Uh, next up, we have Poplio on the front of this one. That's a starter from Sun and Moon. Inside here, we have another PSA card. Let's see what this is. The answer is obviously Poplio. We have a white Kyurem. GX in Gem Mint PSA 10. Love that design. Look at that, man. Yo, look at that. That's awesome, actually. That's a 
Let's zoom in. Yo, that artwork is fantastic, man. That's sick. Yo, look at that. It's one of the best Pokemon around. Kyurem is a great Pokemon. PSA 10. Thank you so much. Kalsha, much love to you for that one. Next up, we have Marill. And we have a... Yo, let's go. Marill, but we have a... Gym Heroes Wizards of the Coast Booster Pack. Guys, this is such an old vintage booster pack right here this is gonna be awesome to open on this video let's go yo i've never opened a vintage pack like this on the channel before and it's been a long time since i have obviously i opened the first edition gym heroes amgen challenge set as a child but now as a full-on grown adult although not quite <laughs> no i mean I, I am maybe i'm too grown who knows <laughs> anyway we have brock on the front so that is going to be the highlight of the pack opening for sure i can't wait to get into that let's put that to one side Yo, that is gonna. Yo, we, we could pull a hollow right there, guys. We could pull a hollow. That's all I'm saying. Okay, next up we have a. Actually, I think that's Lati. I think Lati Latias is more round, whereas Latios is more sl slimline. So I think that's a Lati Latios. That's my prediction. And this is a big boy package. Let's see what this is. In, let's see what's inside here. What is it? Ooh, no, this is a Latias. It's a Latias. No. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh I'm, I don't deserve to have a Pokemon channel, guys. I'm a fraud. I'm a big fat fraud, man. But we do have here a Luxury Ball plush, which is awesome. I'm going to put this in the back over there, uh, somewhere on the uh, on the setup. That's awesome. Pew. There we go. Luxury Ball. Awesome. Oh, it's actually, it's actually a beanbag. That's sick. I can't believe I got that guess that Pokemon wrong. It did look quite fat, you know, as well. So maybe I should have gone for that. Next up, we have... Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Next up, we have Nidoran Female. Now, I know I've got that one correct, but what could this be? This is huge. Okay, this is a... Ooh. Yo, a Shining Legends pin collection with the Zoroark pin and the Zoroark promo card. Yo, we're gonna have some sick packs to open. And then we have Nidoran. Yeah, I got that correct, but it was the female version as well. Let's go. We'll be opening these in a second, along with that flipping Gym Heroes pack. And finally, we have this package. And this is a Masquerade, right? Mask masquerade, masquerade. I'm a fraud, guys. It's all falling apart now. And in here we have a ooh masquerade. There we go. I, I knew it was that. I knew it was that. I, I, I get the point for that. Maybe I messed up the pronunciation a little bit, but I get that. We then have a uh, pencil sharpener and some pencils, which I will never use, just being honest. So that can be a collection piece for sure. Um, that is awesome though. Maybe I give that my kid whenever I have one. And yo, we have the Snorlax V Sword and Shield Jumbo promo card, which I actually couldn't get out to. So I believe Game gave this away or WH Smith. I think it was Game actually. I think it was Game. Uh, but I obviously don't go outside as you guys know. <laughs> so I couldn't pick this up. So I'm actually really happy to have got this. So Kyle Shaw, thank you for that. And um, yo, there we go guys. It looks like the, uh, the mystery box is complete. So some very nice pulls in there. Uh, let me remove this off the table man yo look at that that's awesome man and yeah i guess let's get into this pack opening so let me uh move all the other things out of the way and we'll get the pack hi right, guys so i've got all the packs right here along with the sleeves as well for the pulls that we get there we go and we also have the gym heroes booster pack now i'm obviously going to leave that till the end of this video because this is the highest uh value booster pack this is kind of like the main event of the mystery box in terms of the packs so i'm gonna leave that till the end that's like a 50 pound booster pack man i can't wait to open that it's gonna be sick and let's start with Okay, let's start with the let's start with the blisters, okay? Let's open Unified Minds first, okay? There we go. Got the Empoleon coin. Got this Sudowoodoo promo. Let me sleeve. Let's use these Dragon Shield sleeves. There we go. The Sudowoodoo is sleeved. We have the code card for you guys. There you go. Courtesy of Kalshar. And let's go, baby. Unified Minds. Let's see if we can get that. Mewtwo and Mew. Um, Rainbow Rare. There we go. There's the code card. One, two, three, four. I declare a more. I'm going to go with Fire. Grass. Can you believe it? I can. We have a Grass Energy, a Blizzard Town. Why not? Type Null. Sneasel Washington, my guy. Magnamite, my guy. Let's go. We have a Slacker, a Axew, Fletch Lin Fletchender, a Reversal of Terrakion. So that's a Reverse Rare, which is very nice. And the final card is a Unpheasant Regular Rare. Okay, okay. So nothing too great in that pack, but we continue. Next up, let's go with the Sun and Moon Bird in Shadows pack. There we go. Burning Shadows. This is where the original Charizard design came from. You know, the shiny GX Charizard from Hidden Fates. The original card came from this set right here. And uh, this is Sun of Moon. I think this is still four from the back. There's the code card for you guys. I think it's four from the back. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. Okay, water. Oh, let's go. We got that fairy energy. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, fairy energy. Simiseer, trash Pokemon. Porygon 2. Charmeleon. Alolan Vulpix, Meowth, that's right, Ryolu, Alolan Grimer, 
Ladybird, Meowth, that's right, again, Reverse Holo, and a Slowking as the regular rare. We're obviously going to see Slowking very soon in the Sword and Shield uh, expansion DLC, which I can't wait for. Next up, we have a Sun and Moon. Uh, this, is a, this is from the base set, I believe. Now, I have a lot of these base set packs, because I think I went very hard on these when the set first came out. Uh, me and my mum bought a whole case and just opened like six booster boxes. <laughs> okay, here we go. There's the Sun and Moon base uh, pack. Let's get the Picky Pack out. Hey, Pikachu coin. There's the code card for you guys. We have the Holo Picky Pack promo card which is the second one i've got today which is really cool okay here we go the sun and moon base set let's see what we can get in here there's a code card for you beautiful people and we have one two three four i'm hoping it's four fire oh darkness okay congratulations to whoever guessed darkness we have gramble pokeball how litten a it's lit stuffle eevee i love that eevee card dupider polywag Ooh, we have an Oranguru, Reverse Hollow Rare, which is really nice. And the final card is a Golduck Regular Rare. So we keep getting flipping Regular Rares in these booster packs. So hopefully that means that this one right here, the Gym Heroes one, will have some look inside of it because these certainly don't. We'll get some nice Reverse Hollows though. Next up, we have the XY Furious Fists pack. Now this should have something good inside of it, okay? I don't think I opened any of XY Furious Fists. So here's to hoping we get something special that's a surprise. We have an Eevee in there with a derpy face again. Why do they love to give Eevee, Eevee derpy faces, man? There's the code card. Now, I know that XY is three from the back, I think. So, one, two, three, Nintendo Wii. There we go. Um, do you guys want me to zoom a little bit or is this okay? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll zoom a little bit for the pack opening itself. There we go. Okay. Uh, fairy. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, no. XY just doesn't have... Yeah, it is three from the back, but XY don't have energy cards. Okay, there we go. That's, that's the one. That's the one. Hitmonchan. Scrafty. Sail Fossil, very nice. Eevee, Skarupi, love that artwork, man. It's really nice. Drowsy, Bellsprout, Lickitung, Reverse Hollow Hypno, which is another Reverse Hollow Rare. <laughs> but the final card is a regular Flygon. What the hell, man? So we keep getting really sick, like Reverse Hollows, but we keep getting bang average rares, man. What the hell? Okay, next up we have the, let me zoom out for this one. We have the Zoroark. Uh, pink collection with three packs of Shining Legends. This could be really interesting. I know Shining, Le Shining Legends is a really cool set as well. So let's see what we can get inside this one. Okay, here we go. There's the Zoroark pin. Very nice indeed. I'm aware that when I uh, commentate the final VGC uh, match at Worlds. <laughs> Just kidding. Unless Pokemon you want me to cast for you. I'm down for that. Man, how the hell am I supposed to get that promo card out of here? What the hell? Man, that's so hard. Like, they give you these awesome promos, but then they just like purposely make it hard to get out. <gasps> Yo, look at the cover of these packs, man. Shining Legends, what the hell? Yo, I am gassed. There we go. There's the code card. Yo, could we get a Shining Mew? We've already got a Shining Rayquaza sent to us by Kalstar in the mystery box, or the first mystery box. So we don't need that card, but let's see what other Shining cards we can get. Yo, it's about to be lit, man. <gasps> Yo, my guy, what's going on, bro? What's going on, Ekans? How you doing? Hey, what's up, bro? Snake backwards, my guy. How are you doing these days, man? How is life treating you, bro? Are you good? So there's the code card for you guys. I have no idea, like, if this is three from the back or four. I'm guessing it's four. I'm gonna guess four. Yeah, it's four, but I've already seen the energy. It is a fire one, so congratulations to whoever guessed fire. Uh, and let's see what we get in this pack, man. Great ball. How? Incineroar, <laughs> what's up bro? Shooting some fire out of his crotch, love to see that. You do you, my guy, you do you. Uh, Ekin, Snakeback is my guy. Love that. Gollet, Voltorb, watching the sunset. That's so cute of you, Voltorb. Croconaw, Scraggy. Reverse Hollow Keldeo, another Reverse Hollow Rare, let's go. And the final card is a Manaphy Hollow. Let's go, very nice. So, I'm kind of happy with that. I like Manaphy and I like Keldeo. Two water shiny cards well not, not shiny pokemon but you know hollow cards in some you know somewhat two water pokemon to go in two blue sleeves love that love that okay i'm gonna keep this uh this zoom for now while we open these two packs hey we got a pikachu we got a code card for y'all one two three and four i'm gonna guess fairy energy it's grass god damn it uh spirit tomb pokemon breeder electrode pikachu looking at the rainbow totodile great artwork bulbasaur wow Love that drawing. It's really cute. Uh, Golette. Croconaut again. We have a Reverse Holo Zekrom. So another Reverse Holo Rare card. Unless they're all Rare Reverse Holos in Shining Legends. I don't know. 
And the final card is a Raikou Holo. Love to see that. Wait, so did they, did they always match the typing of the reverse holo and rare holo? Or am I just being lucky right now? I'm thinking I should probably pursue like a Shining Legends binder set, being as it's only 73 cards, right? And I need, and I don't have these cards. So that would probably be worth doing. Finally, we have the Shining Legends Mew pack. Shiny Mew on the front. Let's see if we get a Shiny Mew in the back. There's the code card for you. One, two, three, four. All right, come on. It has to be fair energy, okay? Fairy energy is not a thing in the Gym Heroes booster pack, and you don't even get energy. I don't, oh, I think you do, actually. Um, but yo, fairy energy has to be. It's water, man. It's water. God damn it. Okay, water energy, energy retrieval, floatzel, switch, but not Nintendo, plusle, Toracat, Totodile, Weasel, Pikachu, reverse hollow grass energy. Very nice. And then the final card is a Palkia. Hollow, let's go. I'm assuming that every card is a hollow in um every rare card is a hollow in these packs because we've hit three for three. And I think I've opened some before, and it's also been a hollow there. Okay, so that is it for all of the more modern um booster packs. And here are all of our pulls. Let me try and collect these for you guys real quick. Now these are gonna be out of order, but let me just uh, kind of like breeze through these. Zekrom, Raikou, Palkia, Energy, Hypno, Zoroark, Sudowoodoo, Keldeo, Terrakion. Meowth, that's right, Manaphy, Piki Peck, and Oranguru. And I almost forgot about the Plasma Blast pack. So these are the two vintage, I would say. I mean, I wouldn't really count black and white Plasma Blast as vintage. It's definitely more vintage than anything else we've opened. And just to explain these two eras real quick. So uh, this set right here, Jim Heroes, was back when Wizards of the Coast used to print Pokemon cards. So Wizards of the Coast, uh, uh, for a while, were the, uh, well, were the official manufacturers of the uh, Pokemon trading card game. Wizards of the Coast, by the way, for those who don't know, is the company behind Magic the Gathering. Then I think after Skyridge, Pokemon kind of fell out with Wizards of the Coast or just decided to not renew their contract at least uh, and manufacture the cards themselves. So the difference between these two packs is, you know, Wizards of the Coast here, Pokemon here. But black and white is still pretty old, so it still kind of counts as vintage. Nah, it doesn't count, but it's still old school, you know? Boom, there we go. Let's go. Let's see what we get inside of here. I love it when people put booster packs in sleeves, man. It just, it just it feels like you're opening something important, you know? Um, being as we are opening something important, should I use scissors here? I think I, I think I probably should, you know? In before I just cut the top of the cards off, you know? Okay, here we go. We have a got it. I'm not sure about the card trick here. We do have a code card, though. So there we go. If you want to scan that in. Damn, that's awesome, man. Look at that. Damn, that's sick. Now, I'm not sure of the card trick, so I'm just going to kind of go through this normally. Or can I Google it? Let me Google it. Okay, so I just found out that Plasma Blast is move three from the back. So there we go. Ooh, that card does look... Ooh, you can tell these are printed differently. Look how dark they are compared to these two. So I'm assuming this is a hollow. So we might have done well here, guys. Wait, we have an Octillery, a blue card. Don't tell me that's the rare card. <laughs> anyway, we have an Octillery blue, which is very nice. I didn't open these cards, by the way. We have a Caitlyn. I'm going to be very gentle with these. Ultra Ball, really nice. Gollet, as we saw. We have Snorunt, great artwork. Axew, super cute. We have a Machop, a Bagom. We have a Reverse Hollow Masquerade, which is kind of ironic, being as we opened a, uh, well, we opened a Guess That Pokemon package from Kalshar in this video. And then the, uh, I wonder if like the Masquerade was this pack. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. The final card is a hollow me spirit or mess spirit. Let's go. We got a hollow. Yo, that hollow pattern is sick, man. I like this Pokemon. I know certain people don't like these like mythical Pokemon, but I love them. Let's check out the back as well real quick. So the back is not great at the top there. You can see there's a lot of whitening, but this is still a really nice card to have. So I'm going to sleeve that up right there. I mean, it could be worse, right? We could have got a regular rare, so it's nice to get a hollow at least. And of course, we have the reverse hollow masquerade. And we have the Octillery. I'm going to sleeve both those up because they all look like they're kind of important <laughs> with this kind of like plasma pattern. And we always get rare reverse hollow, guys. Have you noticed? I'm just sick at that. I'm sick at pulling those. There we go. So that's what we got out of the plasma blast pack. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event. It's time for the Brock Gym Heroes booster pack. Now, we're going to be very careful with this. This is a super, super vintage. And... Um, what cards could we get from here, actually? So, in this booster pack, we could get Blaine's Moltres, Brock's Rhydon, Clefable, Dragonair, Vileplume, Electabuzz, Fero, Magneton, Seedra, Tentacruel, Hitmonchan, Moltres, Scyther, Gengar, Brock, Erika, Lieutenant Surge, Misty, and the Rocket's Trap. So they are the kind of holo cards we could get in this booster pack, but it's not guaranteed that we will get a holo. Obviously, this is not a Wade pack. This is just a regular pack, I'm assuming at least. So we could get lucky and get a holo, or we could get nothing. Let's see what we're going to get inside of here. I'm going to cut this as well. Um, 
Although I know people like to sell these packs, but I don't think I'll sell this pack. I think I'll just keep it. I could open it like this, like the old school way. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Oh, this is so cool, man. I haven't opened these packs in so long, guys. Like, I think the last time I opened a vintage pack was when I actually opened it way back in the actual year these came out with my mum. So this is really nostalgic for me. I know my mum's going to love this video as well. And yo, just, just look at that, man. Just look at this card. Oh, just the way it smells even. Just the way it looks, the texture of it. And this one, I googled it and this is four from the back, okay? So we're going to take one, two, three, four. Now, we're going to sleeve this one up immediately, just in case. Wait, I did the fourth one there. Wait, it's this one. This one's the hollow card. Okay, okay, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Okay, there we go. They're, they're the two that I've sleeved, but um, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what they are, but let's go through the rest of the cards real quick. So we have a Brock's Golbat. Very nice. Let me, um, that, that's enough zoom, right? I want to make sure this is really nice for you guys. Brock's Golbat. Blaine's Growlithe. Hey, let's go. Love that card. We have a Leaf Energy. Grass Energy. Looking very uh, old school, if I do say so myself. We have the Sabrina's Ghastly, which is on the front of the pack. Very nice indeed. We have a Blaine's Ponyta as well. Love that. We have Blaine's Gamble. Misty's Poliwag. Brock's Vulpix. I love this artwork. I always have, man. I always have. We then have a Lieutenant Surge's Spiro. Love that. Actually, that's probably one of the only Spiro cards I actually enjoy. And then we have the sleeved cards, which could be the potential hollow. I feel like it's not, though, because you can usually tell on the back of these the way they're printed if they're hollow. We have this one, which is a Lieutenant Surge's Magnamite. Let's go, my guy. How are you doing? We have a Lieutenant Surge's Magnamite right here. And then the final card, guys. So this is the rare card. And if there is a hollow, it will be here. This is a Brox Rhyhorn, which is a rare card. Why is Brox Rhyhorn a rare card? So unfortunately, no hollows in this pack, guys. But we do have some awesome old school cards. I'm going to sleeve all these up right now. And here we go. Here are all the cards out of that uh, pack. And then once again, there's the rare Brock's right horn. We have Magnamite, Growlithe, Ghastly, Ponyta, Blaine's Gamble. Love that. We have Poliwag, Vulpix, uh, Spiro, and a Golbat. So there we go. Love this. Man, opening vintage cards is so fun. Let me know if you guys want to see me do more of these vintage uh, booster pack openings. I'm definitely down to. Uh, I'm definitely down to get some myself as well, you know, outside of mystery boxes. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is the mystery box opening. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Big, big shout out to Cal Straw once again. Pokey Cal on Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you so much for organizing that mystery box for me. Let me know if you guys want to get some more from Cal Straw. I'm definitely down to do that in the future. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Randolph. Please leave a like, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you aren't already. Make sure you also turn the notification bell off and on again just to make sure you're getting my videos in your uh, in your feeds. And yeah, once again, thank you guys so much. I'll be back tomorrow with another Pokemon video. Take care for now and peace out.